Hi, my name is Michael J. Riley, and I'm an artist living here in Wilmington, Delaware. Today I'm on location at Bancroft Middle School where I attended as a student from 1976 through 1978. I'd like to take time with you to share some notes that I've prepared to talk about my experiences at Bancroft and its impact on my life. Firstly, I was born March the 9th, 1964, the year the Civil Rights Act was passed. I cannot imagine what the world would be like had this historic event not occurred, occurred. I attended Bancroft Middle School, as mentioned, from 1976 through 1978. And as a member of that first class to be bused during desegregation, no one could have predicted what the experience would be like or how we might face these challenges. I believe that the, bank, the staff at Bancroft Middle School fully prepared all of us to meet whatever challenges we may face. We were informed, empowered, and equipped to compete on any level. To me, Bancroft always represented the best in education. Even though some of our books were used and perhaps dated, we were taught how to get the most out of them. My art teacher at Bancroft once told me that life was like drawing in ink. If you make a mistake, you cannot erase it. You have to work it into the composition. That message has resonated in my mind throughout my life. I learned not to allow today's status to determine tomorrow's efforts. My experience in the public school system in Wilmington was indeed a positive one, and I would not trade it for anything in the world. I'm here at Bancroft today to share a reminder that we can positively impact our youth and our communities by simply paying attention to detail. Every child needs a degree of guidance. They need to feel safe and to feel accepted by those who are responsible for their progress and their security. I am firmly opposed to all destructive forms of labeling children. And I'm particularly opposed to segregation in all of its forms. In a communal atmosphere, failure always has shared consequences. That is why I feel an obligation to give back to my community and to, and to serve society in my own way. My artwork is reflective of my experiences and my beliefs. I am an optimist, but I'm also a realist. And I believe that greatness comes in all shapes and sizes, as well as colors. This crayon drawing that I'm about to hold up, it, it was done as an exercise in working with whatever is available. I'd like to hold this up. There was no pencil used on this drawing. It's strictly crayon, and mistakes were made. However, there was no erasing. I had to learn how to work it in. Thank you.